What's up, Divine Feminine? Welcome to the bathroom portion of the Karmic Circus, where we expose all of these karmic ass clowns. Now, Divine, Divine Feminine, please keep in mind that this reading may or may not resonate with your energy. So only take the part that resonates with you and leave the rest for somebody else. Somebody else. You heard me? Divine Feminine, I'm in this bathroom, but I'm still trying to keep myself in a, in the high spirits. Somebody said I'm the best tarot reader and the only tarot reader in the bathroom who can make it look good, who can make it look fun. That's why I'm here. So I think tonight we just going to have a little fun. I'm going to put some weird old, um, if, if my computer allow me, because last night my cat dropped. He knocked my laptop off of the table onto the floor. So if you've seen the videos that I, I was uploading you was during the premiere, and what the reason it just cut off is because something, would, when, when it impacted to the ground, it did something. So I'm hoping this, this one goes all the way through with no problems. So go on and get your blunt, get your wine, get your beer. Okay, you're famous again, KJ. I'm recording. You got them damn headphones. You can't hear me. I'll be wanting to go in there and slap him up the side of his fucking head. <clears throat> yeah, so Divine Feminine, get your blunt, get your weed, get your cigarettes, get your beer, whatever you going, whatever you going to do, because this reading is about, now I experienced this, this is not going on currently for me, but it may be happening to you. It may come into your energy where you may be dealing with someone where this has happened. So I'm, I'm here to help you and to tell you what I did and how I found out. Okay. Okay. So somebody out there, other than me, this just flipped out. It just like, just flipped out. I'm sitting here holding the cars. I'm about to talk and my finger just flipped it. So... Over our energy is the page of swords in reverse. Okay. This page of swords could be younger than you. This page of swords approached you. Okay. This young person approached you. You. This person came off very charming. He came off like he was just a very nice man. Okay? But don't let that fool you. And this is why I'm telling you because a person can come at you and you think they the sweetest thing in heaven. But after you have been with them for a while, you'll see that they are sourpuss. Some, some of you will get with somebody like I did got with a person and in the beginning they supported me they pushed me forward and everything but it took one person one individual or a few but in the beginning it was one this one individual is an ex this ex came back now she came back because her and this masculine of mine. Now he ain't told me this. I don't have no proof of this, but this is what my intuition told me. So you tell me in the comments, do you think it's logical? And is it happening to you? If it ain't if it's happening to you, that means that I ain't lying. Okay. I experienced this, but I'm gonna do a reading about it for some of you who may be going through it. I got out over it and out. I got over it and out, over and out, and I'm a security officer, so over and out, I'm over it, and I'm out of here. So, 
So go on and, and, and get your blunt now. So what happened with me? The person I was dealing with came to me. Okay. And basically not to make the story so long, to make a long story short, he had another female in another state. Now, apparently him and this female supposedly was telling me they, you know, he told me she's just like, she's family too. Okay. When someone is supposed to be family, do you need your family? And do you just text any of your family members and say, I need you? Or is that a, a, a sexually way to say that you want to fuck? I asked them why, well, why is she saying she needs you? She need money or she need dick, one of the two. What does she need? Okay. This girl, as he said, she's grown, but she has a, a child face. Okay. She looks all innocent and shit. But you can't be fooled by those innocent looks because the devil was the most beautiful as angel. Remember? The devil himself. So. I lost my little thumb thing. But, um. So. <clears throat> this ex had did him dirty. Now, he never really wanted to admit it to me. But some of the things he said let me know that she done him dirty. He didn't want to admit it. I said, somebody, ooh, somebody did you fucked up. That's fucked up how somebody did you. It was just his actions and the way he was acting. And I was like, damn. That's I don't even remember what it was what what it was he said, but at that time and moment I remember saying, Well damn, that's fucked up. They did you dirty. And see this same feminine energy. She did him dirty. And him and her still talk. On the phone. I don't know if they was like actually married or in some long term relationship, if they would just fuck from time to time. I don't know. I know they was fucking. And her being in another state and him being out here, he didn't, it, it, it wasn't, you know. Hold on, hold on. His big ass funky mouth. Um. So, basically, to make a long story short, I ain't going to take all this time because I done been seven minutes into the read. His ex-girlfriend came out here. When she found out about me, apparently him and her had never really stopped talking. They, he hooked up with her and she come out here or whatever, however that go. They still was communicating on the phone. So, apparently, he started telling her about me. Okay. Now, as I've been watching other readers and stuff, they it sounds like they've been playing plotting on me. They was plotting. Um, she tried to get him to do little certain things and I just start putting two and two together. All of a sudden she shows up out here. He stops answering his phone. He stopped texting me and he was living with me. She didn't like that. So she got so jealous when she seen the pictures because we took up a, a, a cute picture together. Very on Valentine's Day. So she seen that picture because I posted it on my Facebook. Now, at this time, I didn't know who she was, but she knew who I was because he had already been talking to her and she'd been following me on my page. So then the reason why I say he was married to her is because he called her and, entered, and, and you know, trying to prove himself to me, saying he's introducing, I, I just want you to meet my friend. What the fuck you got to get permission from her for? All of that type of energy. And didn't want me to question him about it. And he was wondering why I was asking him questions. You, you, you're saying this. I'm, I want you to meet my friend. Why you, why you can't say I'm bringing my girl? I'm not supposed to be a woman now. But you're interest, introduced, and you laying in my motherfucking bed talking about I'm your friend. And when I said that, he hurried up and hung the phone up. So what does that mean, ladies? What does that mean, fellas? It means that was he, he was either married to her or they was fucking. And he was trying to make her think we just friends. See, 
He had her believing that he's sleeping in his car, sleeping at his sister house. And I don't know what else, you know, he told her about me. But she knew enough to where she brought her ass out here. She wanted to meet me and see me in person. Introducing him, her as a friend. And see the tower fell out. She had a tower. When she found out about me, it was a big tower. Mm -hmm. It's a breakup. Now see, the thing is what I feel. Where this tower here, the truth came out. A breakup, explosion, or anger, an unavoidable change. I was that unavoidable change because, see, he had been going back and forth with her for years, I guess. But see, if he was going back and forth with her, that may be why he he didn't he he wasn't like in a real real residential place. He was sleeping in his car. Okay, so I ain't no sense in me front. He was sleeping in his car. He told me that he was um, he was sleeping in his car because he could never find a park. And it was dangerous for him to be walking away from a certain place to find a park. So he would just park in the neighborhood where he knew everybody knew him and wouldn't fuck with him. I didn't know he was sleeping in his car and I invited him and let him live in my house with me. And we was together five years. So when this, this ex of his, I guess she's his ex or whoever this was, he was fucking his sister, his so-called sister, so-called cousin. But she's a different race. You don't know that she hate his race? Because it showed me in the cards. I was like, she don't like you. <laughs> so she don't want you. I said, she's just a bully. She's a narcissist and she wants to pick your girlfriend. And whoever your girlfriend is, you have to approve her. I don't need no man like that. That means you a wuss. If you got to get, get approval from somebody who ain't even related to you and somebody you done fucked, that's the, that's the dumbest thing ever. How you going to get, get um, advice from your ex or somebody? You, she going to always sabotage that shit. She didn't want you, so she's a narcissist. She's going to do shit to make sure nobody else wants you. Then when once she found out that I was on this spiritual shit, her and her family started throwing spell work. Talking about me and shit. I can't say they sitting there burning candles and throwing magic. But they may be because she's a motherfucking Capricorn. So she's a devil energy. And she may not be a, a Capricorn. She's an earth sign. Or Cancer. Because see, he has more. He has more than, than one friend. And I knew the signs of all of them. One even tried to lie. She under false names. <clears throat> I see the I seen the false names and all of that. Because after I found out they were stalking me, I I done my research and I'm a motherfucking Scorpio. We know how to investigate. So, yeah. So we're gonna find out the energy of this masculine. Now again, this happened to me years ago, but it popped up in my little. My um, I call it my Bible, and I was writing down a lot of stuff. So today I was just moving some stuff, and I picked it up and just looked through it, and it brought me back to that day and for that time that um, she came in between our relationship because she was jealous, and she didn't want him. She didn't want nothing to do with him. She just didn't like the fact that she didn't approve me. I don't approve of her. Who the fuck? I don't approve of you. And it's funny because this person, they got him feeling like He's a piece of shit. But when I really looked at her, she got a bobblehead. She got a big ass head. My head is big, but no, she got a big ass head. And and 
is only covered because of the hair. But when she put that shit back in a ponytail, ooh, ooh, mm. I don't got no big foreheads. I ain't even got no foreheads. <laughs> The Bible family hit that thumbs up. I know y'all, y'all love me. And some of y'all ain't, you don't care if I don't do the message. You just like to hear me talk. So I'm talking, I'm telling you experiences. Six of Pentacles. So let me tell you what the cards then came out since I've been talking. So far, the Page of Swords has came out in reverse, and that's your overall energy. Then there is Divine Feminine. The Ten of Pentacles. Then we have the High Priestess in reverse. Mm -hmm. Then we have the Three of Pentacles in reverse. <clears throat> then we have the Ace of Swords. And we got the Tower. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And this motherfucking Queen of Wands. That's who the X is. This is everybody's ex. <laughs> this is everybody's ex who they call the bitch. This the bitch. You know the one who who yo yo she don't like you. You 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 stole her man or you broke up her relationship or she just made up some illusion in her mind that you did something to her, but in reality she's mad at herself because she didn't do that masculine wrong. So this girl She's she's throwing magic at me because I guess because uh, I enlightened the masculine at that time. I started dressing him with black obsidian and amethyst and stuff. Mm -hmm. I gave him obsidian. I gave him evil eye and shit. And the, the, the troll turned around and said that I was the witch and those things that I gave him is going to curse him. And he believed her. And she's the one doing spell work. And the crazy thing with the first bracelet I gave him was a black obsidian, right? He had that black obsidian, all of a sudden it breaks. I said, that bracelet took a hit for you. You know that? He want to damn blame it. No, it, it snagged on something. You didn't say that at first. See, she has him fooled thinking that I'm the enemy. That I'm the one who's throwing the spell work at him. She's the one throwing it. She don't believe in God either. She's a bully. And the race that she is, they're bullies. <laughs> so, she bullies him. He's not her race. She's not black, but they're bullies. Okay? And it's a big family. So, if, if he lost, if he wasn't around his parents at a young age, he was growing up around these people who actually really didn't like him. I mean, they, they like black people, but they hate black people. They love black people, but they hate black people. And I'm not going to say what race it is. But they're bullies. And maybe they, I don't know why they hate black people. Right? Because everybody else do. Shit, they just join the crew. But they just as black as us, so it don't matter. It's uh, Eight of Swords in reverse. Here's the Nine of Cups out here. Seven of Wands in reverse. The Moon. And the Four of Swords in reverse. Here's the chariot out here, too, in reverse. So, this, 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 uh, karmic female, the chariot in reverse, 
I don't read tarot, so you'll see that I write on my cards. They're like the little books to me. I don't read tarot, but I do know certain energies and the energy and what they carry. But I can't tell you word for word what every card means. But the chariot to me is somebody, you know, carrying you around. You the Uber, you the Uber. You dri they driving you everywhere. You they taxi. They always need you to take care of them. And that's what this chariot is in reverse. See, this, this feminine energy, she didn't like the fact that the masculine, he didn't have to, I had my own car. I have two. So he didn't he didn't drive me around or anything, chauffeur me or nothing like that. He don't even drive his own car. But she didn't like the fact that he was driving my car. Because I have a car and a truck. I let him drive my truck. And I drove my car. He kept his car parked in the driveway. He just never really drove it. Because he liked driving my truck. So, she didn't like that. And, see, I don't know if she if she have a car, but this chair in reverse, this means he's not taking care of her no more. He's not, he's not um, doing for her. And see, this the whole thing. She got upset because he was telling her all the nice things that he did for me. How we went to the movies and things that I suggest because he ain't he ain't never really been in a relationship like that. He's just fucking females. I think I'm his real first girlfriend. And he's um, 50 now. So you you 50 and you ain't never had no real relationship. The reason you ain't had a real relationship because you didn't have them motherfuckers in your life all your life. From the age of 18 is when his, his father passed away. So he'd been on his own and that family was around him and they've been a bad influence to him. They don't, they don't, they they don't show love. Well, she don't, I can't speak for the rest of her family. But from what I what what I see and what I feel about him, maybe I'm wrong, cause I don't know her. But all the time when I'm reading my cards, her energy comes in. And then when I watch my readers, they saying the same shit. So it's the energy that she carries, and I'm over it. I've gotten mental clarity about it. This is why this Ace of Swords is out here. Mm -hmm. I'm looking ahead. You too. Cutting through them emotional clouds. Yes, you are. You got the ability to speak the truth. Yes, you do. And when you speak truth, you speak with power. You use your head, okay? And apparently this, this, um, somebody's masculine other than mine has, um, you know, spoke this to, look what's on the bottom of the deck, spell work. And see, feminine, these, these, these exes of yours are, are, are our masculine's exes. Some of them really is out there trying to throw real spell work. And some of them, the spell work is them manipulating the masculine by um, trying to have sex with him. You know, they have their their they have a incubus and succubus spirits, demonic sex magic, and all of that type of shit. And when I try to tell them about it, maybe she maybe she broke the bracelet. Maybe she broke the motherfucker. She got mad. Because, see, how I know somebody gave him. Now, if it ain't her, it's this little troll-looking chick. She looked like a little troll with glasses. Now, she could be the one who gave him an amethyst. Somebody gave him an amethyst, and he had it in my truck. And when I asked him what it was, he didn't even know what the hell it was. I didn't know what it was because I, I wasn't on no spiritual journey. This was five years ago. I've been on this spiritual journey for three years now. And me and him, with this September, this last September would have been six years. 
for us. And I know out of one of them three chickens that he was with, one of them gave him that amethyst and told him that I was the witch because they didn't want him listening to me. But all she did, I thank you. I, I never thought of that. I thank you. The karmic energy, the ex-wife, if you're the ex-wife, or if you have a child with him, or you're the baby mom, thank you, thank you, thank you. You know why? Because if it wasn't for you, I wouldn't have picked up, I wouldn't have started watching no horoscope shit online in the first place. I was fine with just watching a daily horoscope in my newspaper and reading it. A Scorpio, a daily horoscope. I was fine with that. But no, once you came in the picture and you all of a sudden showed up, and this is not for one, it's it's three of them that I know of. And it's one out there that I believe is doing spell work in me. And she don't even know me, but she's mad at him. And I don't know her name, but I believe she's a Leo. And if you're watching me, you have no reason to be throwing spell work at me. And I just want to let you know one thing. And when you hear this, maybe I'll get an apology. Maybe you will send an apology in some sort of some sort of uh, subliminal way. But I want to tell you what I did when I found that message that came from your son. I was nosing in his phone. And I seen a message. I can't remember the name. Because if I would have remembered your name on Facebook, believe me, baby, I would have contacted you. Okay? Because I'm not a woman to agree with some bullshit that a man do to another woman. But see, he didn't lie to you in some sort of way. To make you believe that either I'm doing something or saying something towards you. When it's him. Just like he came and lied to you about me. Now, I don't know who this is for. But I believe that they watch me. And I'm not saying all of this because I'm scary or none of that. All of this stuff is just dumbass bullshit. You guys are attacking me for, my, for a motherfucking nigga. You, you're attacking a queen? A queen attacking another queen? Not a bitch? You considering yourself a bitch doing all of that? So, let me tell you what I did. I found a, um, a, it wasn't a text message. It was a Facebook message. And it was a Facebook message from a woman's son. And this son said. That's fucked up how you did my mama. And it was a long paragraph. Now I don't know if he got you pregnant. Or you have a child with him. And he just up and walked away and left you. Let me tell you baby. I done been with him five years. And I've seen that's a pattern that he has. And I'm getting attacked because of what he did. You see, this man don't know how to tell a person it's over. He don't know how to end a relationship. He will just ghost you. He'll make you fall in love with him, and then he will ghost you. Now, see, the reason I'm saying this is because three women that I know, two of them I know personally, two of these women I grew up with, and I didn't know he was fucking with them. One of them was somebody, for one, when I was younger, I was afraid of her and I still wouldn't fuck over her today. I wouldn't 
For once, she got a bad reputation of doing shit. And I've never crossed her. And, and I've seen her whoop some ass. I've seen them jump people. These are gang members. And these are gang members that I grew up in the hood. They grew up in my hood because I lived there. They just roosted at my hood. Even though it was their gang hood, it was my neighborhood. I lived there. They lived like on the next street or around the corner. I lived right there where they was at. Dead smack in the hood. Okay. And this one. And I hope they follow me. I hope y'all listen. Because I'm about to start telling it all. I'm tired of getting attacked because this dude didn't tell y'all the fucking truth. He got y'all all hating me, mad at me. Like I done stole your man and I didn't even know fuck shit. I was at the park minding my own business, riding my little bike, lit up all LED. He following me and shit. I asked him where could I get some weed from. He had the weed. So he was like, you can have some weed if, if you just smoke a blunt with me later. I'm like, all right. So I was at the park. And he came over there, had his blunt twisted up. And I told him right then, I said, um, I can't smoke that blunt. I said, I got to see you roll it. I don't know what's in that blunt. So he pulled some more weed out and he rolled the blunt. Okay. Now, I didn't know anything about one person. I'm, I'm telling you about all three of these females, why they're attacking me. I know who they are. It's four. I've seen three. I know two. And one I don't know. I'm talking about the two that I know now. One of the two is very well known in my city. She don't play. She's a gang member. And she trusted me. I didn't know that him and her had something going on. I didn't. As far as I knew, she was married. So I'm seeing him drive her car, but I didn't see nothing like them holding hands or, you know, like they girlfriend and boyfriend. They didn't act like that. And I wasn't in the area where they are like that. I would just sit because like I said, they were in my, in my, on my street. So I would just be in my yard and I see him, him and her, but it wasn't like they holding hands or a couple or none of that. I would just see him like driving her car, going back and forth to the store, going to get some weed, you know, get the drink. That's all I seen. And then when he came and, you know, started talking to me, Me and her friends on Facebook. And what the fucked up part is, I had, I was sitting out there at like four o'clock in the morning because of the same brother that got me in this hotel right now. When my father was alive, he caused so much problems with me to where I just wanted to leave. I just had to get out. I didn't even want to go in the house. I got up early and, and sat outside. And this woman came. She's a year older than me. She came. And this is somebody I grew up in my neighborhood. I know her. I grew up in the neighborhood. And she sat out there because her mother-in-law was fucking my daddy. So she knew what I was going through with my brother, staying there with my daddy. And that her mother-in-law was throwing spell work at me. Because she wanted to be living in my daddy's house and I was there. Okay. So she sat out there and, and she talked to me because I was crying. I was upset. And from that, that point, me and her was real cool, you know. And it's like, I um, my dad, he volunteered after he retired from his job. He volunteered for Food Finders. 
So we was just in the neighborhood, just giving food away all the time. We would take them to the to the shelters, the homeless shelters, to the battered women's shelters. We would go to all the, the local grocery stores and pick up all of the food, take them to the churches, the boys' clubs, the girls' clubs, um, just different places. And we go, I lost my thought. And y'all, just forgive me. I had a stroke in June, or was it July? June or July. And sometimes I, I forget what I'll be talking about, so excuse me for that. But back to me and her, basically, we was close, you know. I'm not lying. That's confirmation. And um, I had, my dad, we did the, we did the, um, the food finders things, and sometimes we would get a, a, everything, you know, I even, I got, um, my grandson, I got him a, uh, Target, you know, we would pick up stuff from Targets, Walmarts, all of that stuff, and I got my son a, a Mercedes, um, Power, Power Wheels Mercedes, yeah, them motherfuckers that be costing two and three hundred dollars. Those, I got it for free because I was a volunteer for Food Finders and I was the one to deliver. And it was just sitting in there, and I was like, "What y'all gonna do with that?" They was like, "We just gonna give it away." I was like, "Well, I got a grandson. When they like, put it in the truck and take it." So that's what we do, you know. And we had a load. And it was a, a bunch of flowers, and they were some of those orchids. And y'all know how pretty those are. They're, they are, I think orchids are the prettiest flowers ever. But I just, I just, every time I buy one, it just dies. I don't know why. I love them. They are so pretty. And um, because they're like single, single buds. They're not all bunched together. I like that they stand on one thing and it's not a whole bunch. But they, it's like, even though the smaller they are, they can fucking make a whole corner look like, you know, I just love orchids. But, um, so we had a, a pickup at a, at a, um, Trader Joe's. Trader Joe's had a bunch of flowers. They had too many and they was overstocked and they were orchids. So I went in my neighborhood. It was close to Mother's Day. Confirmation. So I gave um, all the mothers that I seen. I didn't even know them. I just was giving flowers out to everybody. And I gave her one. And when I gave her the flowers, she took a picture of it and she put it on my Facebook. And she tagged me in it and everything. And said how much she loved the flower. And then after this fool, he came and got with me. She thought that I gave that flower to her to be able to take her man, like to do some foul shit like that. And I'm like, I don't do stuff like that. And we was how I found out me and him sitting in the car in my truck. And she walks by because I had said I had started falling in love with him. And so I started posting it on my Facebook. You never know, I said, you never know a person that you could fall in love with somebody and they've been in your face all this time and you never noticed them. And I hadn't. He had been around me. Uh, not around me, but in my neighborhood. He would drive past my house every day and sometimes he would just stare at me and say his little, you know, mumble stuff under his breath, but he never would say nothing. And then when I asked him about the weed, that's how it went from there. But I know... She's she's um, throwing spell work at me. If it's not burning candles, it's, she's mad at me. But the thing is, I did like any woman would do. Even though I was scared as fuck. Shit. Cause she could have pulled the knife out on me. She could have shot me or anything. But I had to go to her. And when I woke up, because she, she, she walked past my truck. We were sitting in the truck. And when she walked past me, I was like, oh, there go, what you call her? I ain't gonna say her name. And um, 
Then when she walked past him, she got to the to the corner. His phone started like lighting up and you know messages. So then I'm just looking at him and he looks at me and then he shows me the phone. And she's calling him all kind of black motherfuckers and bald head bitches and all of this. I don't know why she doing that. I said, you and her? Really? My heart just sunk to my stomach. I couldn't even sleep that night. To find out that I... And to find out that I done fucked and we didn't we didn't already done did it now. It's beyond that. I was posting it online how happy I was. And then I found my soulmate. So then after he shows me the text, I got up and I went outside at seven o'clock in the morning and she was across the street. I was scared, I ain't gonna lie, I was scared. But I went over there and I apologized to her. I was like, I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't have did that. I said, I did not know you and him, hell, I don't know if y'all related. I've never seen you holding hands. I've never seen you kissing. Or well, I thought you was married to whoop de whoop. But he's paralyzed in a wheelchair. So I know why she was fucking around on me. And I couldn't keep her from being mad at me. But at least I came to her with the truth. I didn't lie. And, I, and it's like I told him, I was like, you know, that's fucked up what you did. I said, I've been in this neighborhood all my life, and she ain't never, even when she came to my school, her and her gang came to jump on my friend to whip her ass, and they called her to go in the bathroom. We was in high school, and I was like, I ain't going in there, because I told your ass, I live in the neighborhood where they're at. And I told you, don't be fucking with they men and you, their boyfriends. And you did. And now they come into the school to beat your butt. And I'm not fighting for you. I didn't go in the bathroom, but I ended up, later that day, I got suspended. Because they jumped my friend. She had a a, a light blue like t-shirt on. And the blood where they, they tried to cut her neck. But they did it with a plastic. They tried to cut, cut her throat with a... Uh, with a, uh, the plastic, the plastic uh, spoons and forks, and this was in in 1983. Okay, I was in high school in the 11th grade, but them girls they came, they came and they wasn't in high school. They were older than us, and my best friend was fooling with their boyfriend, and then she was bold enough, and she didn't even gang bang. She was homie. She was a wimp. And she was trying to, she got some of that gangster dick and then thought she was hard. She actually went to the cleaners, got her some Levi's, and she put that nigga name in big ass old English letters down her pants leg. Miss Whoop de Whoop Dog. The very next day, the, if he the dog, the bitches came. They came to, and they was like, um, we want to talk to you. Not to me. And my, my sister went in there. I was like, I ain't going in there. My sister is my, my very best friend. I, that's my sister. We've been best friends since we was in the second grade. We cheered on the same cheerleading team. We played football together. We did everything. She went in there. She's she's four months older than me. We're, we don't have no, we're not biologically related or anything, but everything, everybody think we're sisters. They say we look just alike. And, um, she she went in there. She ain't scary. I was scared. Hell no. Because see, they didn't live there where I lived. I seen them in action. So I ain't going in there. Mm-mm. 
And then when they have parties at the park, I lived across, I lived over there. I'd be in them parties. And then after all of that shit, when I went to the parties, them, them, they was looking at me, mad dogging me. I had to stand on the little stage and have a knife in my hand. Because if they ran up, I was going to have to cut somebody. And I was scared. I ain't going to lie. I was 17. <laughs> but back to the story. This female, this woman, it really did. It really, it hurt my heart when I found out that him and her was fooling around. Because I didn't, I don't like nobody thinking that about me. And then, you know, when I talked to her, she was like, um, so you and him, you know, I said, yeah, but I didn't know. I didn't know. He didn't tell me. He didn't tell me that. I said, you know, if I'd have known you and him was, you know, fucking around, I wouldn't have talked to him. I ain't like that. I said, you sat on the porch with me that, that morning a couple months ago. You think I would do that shit to you? And she was like, well, I don't give a fuck. Just keep my name out y'all mouth. Don't speak my name. I didn't. If anything, it... It, it was my name was spoke. I was talked about. The evil eyes started hitting me. And see what he did. He went over there. And he went off on her. And told her. Nobody better not say nothing to me. Nobody better not try to fight me. Nobody better not fuck with me. And that blew me away. Cause I'm like, he said that to her. She's like, this is this is the boss bitch of my city. Do you understand? This is the this is the the, the head bitch in charge of my city of the gangs. <laughs> she gang made her family, her sons, her daughters, her brothers, her sisters, all of them. And he fucked with her and then put me in all of that shit. That's what a man will do to you. This is why the exes, you don't know. Now, I knew, and that's one of them. The other one that I know, I don't, I know her personally, but I don't know her. I went to school with her in high school, I think like a year, and I got kicked out of my school, and end up going to another school. She was either at the school I got transferred to or she was at the school that I went to at first. I just remember her. Now, we both, when we, in, we was in school, we weren't, I wasn't one of the, the, the chicks that was pretty. I cheered on the cheerleading team, but it wasn't the cheerleaders that's, you know, that was on the, on the ground. We had to cheer in the stands for home, home for our team. It was high school, but we wasn't the, the the varsity cheerleaders. I was with the sophomores, okay? This girl, this is chick number two. I don't know if she's the same age as me or a year younger. I don't know. Now, how I found out about her. See, if I never found out about these people, he wouldn't have never told me. They know about me, but I don't know about them. So they were sending all of this evil eye to me. This one, she's a little troll looking something. And as far as I know, she's she could be one who gave him, who, she could be throwing magic at me. Because for one, she says she's Muslim. And which, you know, as far as I know, her family and them, they're, they're Muslim. So she could be telling him that me reading cards is the devil and all of that. Okay? She could be throwing the, the religious stuff to, up to him. Saying, I'm the devil. Now, the reason... She's she's mad at me. Is because 
one night and each of these two is everything I found out in his phone. He wasn't going to tell me this shit. He wasn't going to tell me. He had, uh, he was either taking a shower and it was like 930 at night and his phone rung and she called back to back. So I answered it. <clears throat> she thought it was his, his son because my voice is heavy. She was like, oh, you're answering your dad's phone? I said, no, this is not his son. I said, who is this? You know, I'm not lying. Confirmation. She was like, oh, this is just a friend. She wouldn't tell me his name, her name. But what she didn't know is I'm not stupid. All I did was reverse that phone number. I put her phone number in the reverse phone phone number lookup. And then it told me the name. It told me her name. Then when it told me her name <clears throat> and where the, the, the address was, I typed that name in on Facebook. She has the same name as a famous doctor. And she's a nurse or something. She does some CPR shit. <coughs> so, when I look her up on Facebook and I go through her pictures, I see a picture of her and him. He's standing behind her. And the people in the comments are saying, something, something, your husband. Something, something, your husband. <coughs> I don't know if this motherfucker a bigger miss or what. But, all of a sudden, I requested her. Okay? Mm -hmm. I request her. Then, all on her page, and the reason I request her, because when I looked on her name, it's like she was talking about me behind my back, and she never knew that I would be smart enough to reverse her phone number and look for her. She was talking big shit about me. About her husband and a wife and his side of the bed and her side. Have you seen that video where her side is, is taking up the bed and he got that little space and she got all of this space, all of that shit. And, and I watched it. I watched her comments for like two or three months. I was stalking her ass, right? She was talking all of this stuff, you know, she wasn't saying stuff like, well, she was in certain things. She would try to act like she would fight me and all this, like she's so tough. And I'm like, that's just childish, immature shit. Why don't you just call me and tell me that's my husband? Or we married. When I'm asking him, I'm like, you sure you ain't married? Because she all on her page talking about that's your wife. That's your husband. Y'all married. Me, no, I ain't never been married. Unless it's a, a situation where you call each other hus hubby and wifey. You know, I don't know. I never, I look for the records and I didn't see no marriage. It could be in a whole nother county. You know, I don't know. But she's attacking me. And these women are psychically attacking me because of his lies. That's two. That's three. Now the one where the, the son wrote the letter telling him he fucked up. His mom is attacking me. 
because he ghosted her. The one that that the um the one I, I grew up with, I know her. He ghosted her when he started talking to me. And the one that he was see, he was messing with all three of them. One's back south. One is in the city he lived. And the one, another one is in another city. And he got one in another state. And I was here. And the one in another state, when she found out about me, she came out here. And she had a condo. She bought a condo out here. And all of these women are just spiritually attacking me. Because... They accepted him having other women as themselves, and I did. What's what's really wrong with that? Can you somebody please put it in the comments? What's wrong with not wanting your man to be fucking on somebody else? Am I weird? Or is this a, a new thing that is is supposed to be cool? All of this orgies and, and, and Solomon and Gomorrah and all of that shit. And see, two of them, I know they, they, I heard that they, I can't say, but I heard two of them likes pussy. And that, that one of them liked me. But I told them I'm strictly dickly. So that's two. That's attacking me. And the mother that he could have got pregnant or at an older time before and or he just ghosted her. That's why the son was writing him because he found him on Facebook and he ghosted her. He ghosted the one in another city. I mean, another city. Yeah, her too. He ghosted the one that's in the same city. So ladies, stop doing the spell work in me. It ain't me. It's him. Confirmation. It's him doing it. It ain't me. So I'm going to have to stop this because this is my little pumpkin face and she's calling me. It's too late for me to come pick her up. It's 9.30. She got to wait till tomorrow. So I'm going to end this here and um, I will discuss this at a later date. Peace out.